Welcome to the Zotech Video Podcast. Today we are taking a look at our brand new Zbox Blu-ray series powered by next generation NVIDIA ION technology, the new HD ID33 and HD ID34. The Zotech Zbox Blu-ray series features a completely new slim chassis that makes room for a slot load 4x Blu-ray reader. The drive can also read and write to DVDs and CDs. A 6-in-1 memory card reader sits below the Blu-ray drive and accepts various SD and memory stick memory cards. Also available up front is a USB 2.0 port, new USB 3.0 port, audio output jack, microphone jack, and the power button. Around back, there's another USB 3.0 port, gigabit ethernet, a combo eSATA and USB 2.0 port that can power eSATA devices, dual link DVI-I output that is compatible with VGA with the included adapter, HDMI output that supports 1080p and is Blu-ray 3D ready, and an optical spit of output. A Kensington lock connector is also available to secure the Zbox Blu-ray to prevent theft. Flipping the unit over reveals six Phillips head screws that unlock the customizable internals of the Zotac Zbox Blu-ray series. There are only two differences between the Zbox Blu-ray HD ID33 and HD ID34, and that is the HD ID34 includes two gigs of DDR2800 and a 250 gig hard drive, while the HD ID33 is a bare bones only solution. Inside, you can see the heatsink fan for the Zbox Blu-ray series that cools both the next generation NVIDIA Ion graphics processor and the dual core Intel Atom D525 processor. The Zotac Zbox Blu-ray HD ID33 and 34 featured two SO-DIMM memory slots that support up to four gigs of DDR2800 memory. The memory slots are easily accessible with the cover removed. The hard drive is easily accessible on the Zbox Blu-ray series. There are four Phillips head screws that hold the bracket in place. Once the bracket is removed, you can slide the hard drive easily in and out of the drive bay. Only 2.5 inch SATA hard drives and SSDs with a 9.5 millimeter height are supported with the Zbox Blu-ray series. The Zbox Blu-ray series features integrated 802.11n Wi-Fi for wireless transfer speeds up to 300 megabits per second via a mini PCI Express card. An open mini PCI Express slot is also available for other user installed peripherals, such as a TV tuner. A VESA 75 and 100 compatible mount is included with the Zbox Blu-ray series to attach the mini PC to the back of a monitor. Four screws are included for this purpose. The mount can also be used to attach the Zbox Blu-ray series to the wall, but you will need to supply your own screws and secure the mount to a stud or use anchors. The Zbox Blu-ray series can also be laid flat and is a perfect match for your home theater. To show off the capabilities of the Zbox Blu-ray HD ID33 and 34 mini PCs, we'll be using the latest XBMC Media Center Dharma Beta for Windows, configured with a couple of add-ons for integration with the Kylo web browser and the included CyberLink Power DVD for Blu-ray playback. XBMC is a very powerful media center front end. You can organize your TV shows with images, show information, download fan art, and of course, watch your TV show collection. On tonight's Top Gear. You can also do the same with your music collection and enjoy your music with 3D visualizations. And we turn up the heat on the world's dullest car. XBMC can also display high resolution images so you can view slideshows on your HDTV. You can also have background music with it too. There's also a weather widget that provides a 5 day forecast. Blu-ray playback is a complicated matter and unsupported by XBMC natively. However, using the launcher add-on, we are able to launch CyberLink Power DVD from within XBMC and enjoy high definition Blu-ray movies. By also using the launcher add-on, we can launch Kylo, our favorite TV-optimized web The last thing we can do with XBMC and the Zbox Blu-ray HD ID33 and 34 is access YouTube and watch high-definition 1080p streaming content. 
This is only possible with the next generation NVIDIA Ion graphics processor that accelerates Adobe Flash video decoding. Welcome to the Zotac Video Podcast. Today, we'll be taking a look at our new... And that concludes this episode of the Zotac Video Podcast. Thank you for joining us.